All right, good morning, guys. It is another dreary day, rainy and cold. And uh, Josh and I are holed up here in the van. It's actually kind of warm. We got a little fireplace heater going on back there. And uh, what are we doing now, Josh? Well, today we're working on the upper cabinets, uh, trying to get that figured out and how we're gonna move forward with it. Yeah, and it's always, uh, a challenge just uh, trying to envision it and because um, uh, everything's you have to take into account everything and so um, the did great job on the countertops they look awesome and uh, so excited to uh, be using the van um, but yeah so some of the goals we're trying to achieve with this upper cabinet is it needs to be able to um, be deep enough to hold a, a plate um, and we also want it to come down just enough where it doesn't cover too much of the window so it's going to come down probably about this deep and then the whole mounting uh, issue so yep <laughs> a lot more brain power <laughs> all right well let's get started and uh, we'll uh, show you guys in high speed here here we go Okay, good morning guys. It is a beautiful sunny morning here in Pensacola, Florida and uh, we've been working on the cabinets uh, trying to get those uh, finalized and uh, Josh is still working on some of the upper cabinets but I am actually um, going to uh, be polyurethaning the countertops and the cabinets. Uh, that's my next assignment and so we had originally uh, thought about uh, laminating these tops, these countertops, but after looking at them and deciding uh, the amount of work that the laminating would do, and also the laminate, the lam, uh, the laminate that I was going to use was a wood grain, and to me, this is the actual wood is even much more beautiful. So um, we're just going to sand these down and polyurethane them with about three coats. And then Josh is going to be working uh, later today on uh, some, some more of the cabinets. All right, guys. Well, it is a very brisk morning out here, Josh. Yes, How it cold is. do you think it got last night? Uh, I'm thinking around 24. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it still feels that way. And it's uh, windy too, so that's uh, that's uh, the big challenge. So, but anyways, uh, we are wrapping up finally, huh? Yeah. Cabinetry, and uh, you're working on some final pieces that go over the uh, uh, the restroom facilities, yep. the bathroom cabinet, and. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's been a labor of love, would you say? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's uh, it's been it's been a uh, a task, that's for sure. Yeah, and like you said the other day, it was just not knowing how to do something. You just have to basically dive in and just start 
and just whittle away at it until you figure out the solution. That's exactly right. Yeah. Exactly right. So uh, we're going to wrap up to uh, this uh, cabinetry today and uh, throw it in high speed so you guys can see. And hopefully at the end of this video, we'll be able to show uh, a full reveal of all the cabinets installed. So, all right, you guys continue watching. Okay, one of the things uh, that we have actually got accomplished and uh, Josh did a great job on is our upper cabinets. And uh, you can see them right here and uh, they look great. Um, but what I'm gonna do is actually put, this is the bottom of the cabinet. I'm actually going to uh, put some uh, sheet metal under the bottom which will be magnetic and allow us to attach uh, different magnetic hooks and stuff like that, spices, spices and uh, um, all kinds of stuff. And then also underneath, um, on the back side of this railing, I'm going to install this uh, curtain rail. Um, and that will allow us to uh, create some curtains and uh, uh, use this um, railing as a way to move curtains back and forth so yeah and I think after I get oh and then we also are going to put uh, hockey puck lighting um, underneath here so um, so we'll have lighting uh, that uh, shines down on the countertops so anyways yeah that's what this is all about and uh, we'll get to it Well, we have hit a momentous occasion here, and uh, Josh has just completed the final cabinetry for this for the the most of the majority of the work. Well, we're, uh, after we get back from our maiden voyage, we might do a couple other small things. But uh, yeah, uh, he just got through uh, putting uh, this uh, cabinet that goes over the toilet, and so you can see. The uh, toilet seat comes up and uh, gives room for all kinds of uh, bathroom supplies and stuff like that. Congratulations. <laughs> How does it feel? Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> I'll move on to the next job now. <laughs> right? Well, you have done amazing work, Josh, and uh, I'm just kind of uh, in awe at your, uh, your talent here. And it's going to be... Uh, you've made a little home for us <laughs> and uh, for Teresa and I so thank you thank you very much you're welcome very much um, so yeah uh, there's still some things that I've I've got to do I'm still working on the upper cabinets uh, putting the um, uh, metal uh, magnetic metal sheets on and stuff like that so um, but this wraps up uh, Josh's portion and uh, so happy and so excited that our trip is coming up and we'll be able to uh, enjoy it. So, um, yeah. So you guys stay tuned as I continue solo for the next few videos. Um, who knows, Josh might sh show up now and again. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I'm not sure where this video is going next. It might go on to me doing something else or just might end here. So whatever it does, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting and subscribing. And... Uh, yeah, appreciate it. All right, good job, Josh. <laughs>guys what I think I'm going to do is just kind of give you uh, an idea of what these cabinets look like and um, now they're, they're pretty much completely installed I still need to uh, polyurethane them uh, but yeah let me just kind of show you what we've got going on here
Okay, so first of all, this is the back of the van. Uh, you can see our jackknife sofa there. And uh, what we have is, uh, this is a storage drawer that I basically put here to um, have as a storage for uh, either toiletries or extra clothes. But back here is the back part of the first part of the uh, cabinetry. And what we have is uh, some shelving here. And what we're going to use this shelving for primarily probably is um, nightstands, mine and Teresa's, and then down here, Bernie's. Um, we also have a electric fireplace heater. And uh, it can be a heater or just the light effect. So when it's when it's not cold and we still want to have the coziness of a fire, we can have that. Uh, then we're going to have our little library or whatnot uh, nook above here. The countertops here, uh, we actually decided not to laminate the countertops because the laminate that we had was actually wood grain. And I figured why do a wood grain laminate when there's actually wood grain countertops already. So we've got that. Uh, then we have our um, up our power switches here. Everything from the, this is the fireplace here. You can see I turn it off, turn it back on, and uh, TV and other ones that are still to be plugged in. Uh, then we also have right here is our a little drawer. And we're actually probably gonna uh, uh, get a little piece of wood that we can place over here because it's right here at the at the couch and it would make a, a great little desktop. Um, but the cool thing about the drawer is it's soft close. I don't know if you saw that. I just think that's the coolest. So um, underneath that drawer we've got uh, some cabinets and uh, with shelving this is probably going to be pantry area and uh, food and maybe pots and pans stuff like that. Then our stove is right here. And the cool thing about our stove is it is right here at the edge of the couch. So uh, I can actually be sitting down. And uh, the way we open the stove is we open this uh, little uh, hinge door right here. And this uh, access door gives us access to the plumbing switches. That I'll show you here in a few minutes and also the propane. Um, but we lift this up a little bit and then we can then open the camp stove. the camp stove and as you can see here it's a basically a two burner stove and uh, it lights just like any other stove here um, and plus it has a little little cute little oven so we can make pizzas and and uh, whatever things that we need in the oven um, also underneath the stove is a access door and this access door basically gives us uh, the ability to uh, check our water pump and uh, some of the plumbing uh, we can also divert and turn off and on the ability to drain our um, gray water tank right down here so yeah it's very tight clearances you can see that everything basically just fits with minimal amount of wasted space now back behind the stove here is this uh, uh, hinge door and uh, you can see the plumbing valves are back there and that gives us the ability to switch. Um, that's the main shutoff valve there and then uh, the ability to this valve right here allows us to fill the freshwater tank. Um, and then this valve over here uh, selects what feeds the faucet, either the uh, water pump or the straight from the uh, that water inlet outside the van. And then we have our propane uh, for our a little one pound canister for our stove. Now here's our sink and it works just like uh, any other um, household sink. Uh, it's got a nice little angled faucet head here. And, uh, I now have it set for pump, so the pump is actually providing the water. Uh, we also have a soap dispenser right here. Now one of the cool things about uh, this cabinet uh, is actually under the sink the uh, access to the uh, water tanks turns into a table. And uh, 
So we have our water tanks underneath, our fresh and gray water, and uh, and then this converts into a table where I, uh, me or Teresa could sit here and the other one can sit over there and have uh, a nice little uh, a nice little dinner or even potentially do work another workstation so we have either a dinner table or a secondary workstation and when we don't need it it just folds right down over here we have our little igloo refrigerator and let me get out of the way here so you can see um, this is just a regular uh, dorm refrigerator um, at some point we might upgrade to a 12 volt 12 volt refrigerator but right now that's uh, what we're using. Um, this is a little storage area where we can put TV trays and stuff like that. Um, back here, because there's some extra space behind the refrigerator, um, uh, we actually have a, uh, a, a hole we cut into the bottom of the van and we installed a vent hood and from that vent hood dryer ducting back to the behind the refrigerator. And so what the purpose of that is, is to vent out any heat that the refrigerator is putting out so it'll uh, operate more effectively. But it also gives us access um, and the ability to have, because um, there's a, a fair amount of space back there, to have uh, uh, other stove. And right here we've got uh, an induction stove. And uh, so it just gives us a place to actually store couple of other things and then finally on this far side here you can see that we actually have the uh, water pump switch and a small foot trash can all right so that's it for the lower cabinets looks great I think uh, our builder uh, Josh did a awesome awesome job um, now we have the upper cabinets and uh, uh, one of the things I wanted to make sure in building this van is that we left as much windows viewable as possible and I knew that that was going to basically eliminate a lot of potential storage areas so any place that's not windows basically becomes either functional or storage and uh, what we have here is uh, storage cabinets basically and um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to, when we're, in, when we're in transit, we're going to put some kind of strap across uh, here or maybe even some kind of uh, decorative type of rope. Not quite sure about that. Um, and then finally, what you saw uh, just recently is our little uh, cabinet back here by the potty. So here's the potty. It's another ottoman. Actually that ottoman is just the same as that one right over there so those are two both the same ottomans and this ottoman functions as the toilet and this cabinet um, is just basically for extra things maybe uh, my wife's makeup and uh, toiletry supplies and stuff like that so now also underneath the sh uh, upper cabinet we installed this uh, sheet metal you can see here and uh, that's going to give us a place to um, attach magnetic uh, uh, hooks or spice our spice rack is magnetic uh, our different spice containers are magnetic and so that will allow us to uh, have a little more functionality up there as well and we're also going to install some of those little hockey puck lights up here so that's still still to be done we also have uh, behind this board right here is actually a curtain track so um, Teresa's going to find some curtains uh, and that'll allow us to actually have curtains all up and down the full length of those windows. So yeah, I uh, hope you like it and uh, we uh, we took it out the other night and we're just uh, uh, amazed by uh, the coziness of it. And there's still lighting effects that I'm going to be working on, track lighting above the cabinetry and on uh, below the floor, at the edge of the floor there. Uh, but yeah, for now we got these cabinets installed and uh, we will uh, uh, continue working and improving them. So, hope you liked it and uh, big kudos again to Josh 
for helping me build this. I could never have done this uh, by myself. And um, I guess that's the thing when doing any type of building is that you do what you can and then what you can't, uh, you hire out <laughs> just to make sure it's quality. So, all right, uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.